Yo, what is up, my dudes? Another one. Yo, what up, Caveman? What's up, Keandre? What up, Legacy? Oh, welcome back, everybody. I was gonna stream yesterday, but uh, some stuff happened, and I just, I decided I'm not. I wasn't gonna stream. So, but we are back. We are back. What up, everybody? Today we're gonna be playing NCAA Basketball 10. Fun fact: This is the last college basketball game ever made so it's actually really rare and it's very very expensive on ebay i got it for like 40 bucks it was worth it i don't know how long we're gonna play it though i might switch up some games because i was contemplating either playing this or uh going back to wwe 13 to play the attitude era mode so i, I might go back and play some uh, wwe 13 if i get bored with this so but yeah, we're going to take the Fragiline Youngstown State College program and try to turn them into a dynasty. Y'all can hear me, right? I hope you can. Otherwise, I just wasted my time talking. Um, I don't know if my, my capture card is looking a little weird right now. What is this? What is this? Uh, well, I might have to... Deactivate, reactivate it. There we go, it works now. Let's go. You still down to try PUBG? Yeah, I just have to play, uh, I think, four more AI matches. And then I'm good. <clears throat> Who knows, I might play some AI matches on PUBG. Why is this like extremely loud? I'm gonna have to turn this, uh, I'm gonna have to turn some of this down. Well, Blake Griffin, before he was, uh, before injuries took over his career. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I'll get copyrighted due to college music in here or not, so I'm gonna mute my game audio right now. I'm just gonna turn all the sound off. <clears throat> I don't even know how to play this. <clears throat> like, honestly, I don't even know how to play this game. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. I'll put that on too. Any game music, uh, you know, we're just gonna put everything on a, on 10. Why not? All right. You gotta play all your bot matches. Yeah, that's, it sucks, dude. Like, I don't know why they're making us do that, but it's whatever. No. I really like this game though because it's like I said it's the last college basketball game ever made 
and it's one of the few EA games to actually have good presentation. It has like CBS and ESPN um, overlays. All right. I'll hold on there. My coach name is going to be sub to Gaming Cube. We're starting a new dynasty, boys. Now, pretty much what I did, I did this a while back when I first got this game. I uh, tried to find an updated roster, and uh, you can find it, but it's really hard to transfer it over because some stupid thing with PlayStation, you can't like import other other people's saves to your PlayStation without doing some weird ass shit. So, so what I did was I just did auto generated players and I edited Michigan's and Youngstown State's roster. Now let's see who we can find here. Who best resembles me? Oh, I can turn my game audio back on now. I forgot. Well, hold up, first of all, I want to change this ugly ass suit. <laughs> Look at him. We might rock that. Like Coach Mom. It matches, it's Youngstown State's colors, so we might rock this dude. Uh, his body model is so fucking skinny, but I'm skinny too, so. We'll be this guy with the porn stash. Sub to Gaming Cube. Coaching contracts on, job offers on, coach firing on, any team I choose, yes. My coaching style will be up tempo. And roster file. I forget which one. I guess the most recent, 11 7, 2021. <clears throat> Alright, bet. New Dynasty. I was going to make this into like a series, like videos and shit, but I figured, I don't know. I was either going to do Michigan as video series or Youngstown State. I think YSU would be more interesting to do as a video series since they're like a shit franchise, but I don't know. Something told me to stream, why, uh, told me to stream this game today, so that's what I'm going to do. Alright, we are in the Horizon League, I think. I know it's different with football. In football, they're like, uh, they're in the Missouri Valley Conference. Yeah. In football, they're Missouri Valley. In basketball, they're Horizon League. And yeah, this is when Butler was actually ranked number 11. Youngstown State Penguins. Their overall record is 9 and 21 this year, 5 and 13. 0-4 versus top 25. I'm assuming that was against all against uh, Butler. And yes, I do have updated Youngstown's uh, rosters. I think everyone's here. I'm going to see if any names don't stick out to me. Yeah, Sean Gage. I don't think that's a real player. Hold on a sec. So yeah, what I was saying is pretty much the actual YSU roster. I did overrate them a little bit, but as you can see, they're not like overpoweredly overrated. Like our best player is an 82, I believe. No, an 86. 
So like with these ratings and these players, they're they're probably compared to like a solid top twenty five team. So all right, I didn't want to get absolutely slaughtered right away. So, but we're still gonna buff him up. Fuck, I lost him. All right. Where where was I at again? Horizon. Yeah. All right, let's turn Youngstown State into a powerhouse, my dudes. Dynasty, 15 years, simulation injuries on, injury frequency normal, underclassmen go pro on. Pretty much everything can stay on. Normal. Schedule customization on. 10 minute halves. Uh, I don't know if I want to do 10 minute halves. Uh, let's just do like, I don't know. Let's do seven minute halves. It's gonna be a little low scoring, but whatever, fuck it. It's not real life. Okay, begin Dynasty. What is up, my love? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, if I get bored with this right away, or if I'm just not feeling it, I'll probably switch and play something else. Youngstown, Ohio. Youngstown State Penguins. The season preview. Butler's ranked ahead of us. My team preview. I don't really care about any of this shit. I just want to customize my uh, roster or my schedule. I mean, chances are I can't uh, play any big time schools. So, like, let's try to get rid of like UNLV. No, let's get rid of this. I never even heard of Sienna. I don't know who the hell they are. Campbell. Campbell. My voice cracked. We'll play Campbell. Rice. No movie tonight. So, do you want to play something then? All right, let's see if we can like play a top 25 team. Let's see if Gonzaga will play us. They probably won't. Your team is getting better every year, but we need to... Yeah, see, they're not going to play us. So, they're definitely not going to be able to play against any top ranked schools, but I'm going to try. Like Kentucky, no. LSU, no. Ole Miss, no. No. Okay, I can't play any SEC teams. California, no. Arizona, no. What the fuck, man? I can't play against anybody good. The fuck? How about Akron? I can't even play Akron? Oh, wait. They did accept it. Okay, sick. Okay, never mind. I got ahead of myself here. Let's add a game here. Versus... Duke? No. Florida State? No. No ACC. How about Big Ten? Can I play any Big Ten teams? How about Ohio State? Nope. Penn State. Oh, I can play Penn State. Sick. This is gonna be tough. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to play good teams, but I can't. Let's remove Portland. And let's add. So I can't play some good conference teams, like maybe UCLA, no. USC, no. Washington State, no. I'm already playing Oregon, I believe. I think that's on my schedule. Uh, who do I play? <clears throat> Missouri Valley, I can play them. No, I guess not. What the fuck, dude? I can't play anybody. Looks like I'm just gonna have to uh, grind out this year against uh, bad competition, and then maybe next year I'll be able to play better teams. I'm gonna try to see if I can get one more in here because I don't want to spend all my time doing my schedule. If I wasn't streaming, I'd, I'd probably spend like a good 30 minutes doing my schedule and shit. But Let's see, Michigan State's number two. Michigan's number 22. Minnesota. How about Indiana? No. Iowa? Iowa. Okay, that's good. See, I can play Iowa. Alright, let's just let's just get out of here. Preseason training. Okay, um back court, front court, player focus. I do want to work shooting twenty-five, offense twenty-five, defense twenty-five, conditioning. 
<clears throat> I'll make conditioning fifths. No, we'll make conditioning like a little higher than offense, defense can go down. Shooting and conditioning. And here we'll do defense at 30, offense 25, shooting 25, and conditioning will be 20. We'll do 50 50 for starters and reserves. All right, bet. Recruiting Central. Okay. We're just gonna recruit people who will uh who are interested in coming here. Obviously none of these guys are very good, but we'll target Lockhart, Derek Goodman, Grant Glenn. Um Note that your athletic director will have some additional recruits. Would you like to evaluate? Are you sure you want to continue? Yes. Well, I'm not done yet. I'm just saying. I want to see who like the top players are. Um, the hell. Pipeline. ESPN 100. There we go. I know these guys are going to want to come here, but... Look at Metcalf, Pearson, Connor. Honestly, I don't really care about recruiting right now. But I know I should get this out of the way. Search recruits. I guess we'll go back to doing the uh, highest interest level. And we'll just recruit a bunch of dudes who actually want to come here. Ballin or Ballwin Knack Four. Okay. I like that name. Theo Manning. Matthew Green. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna recruit guys who have cool names. Tyson McCarthy. Logan Darling. Jeff Carter. Adam Reynolds. Kibu Childress. Alright, let's get Adam Reynolds off the board. All right, I'm gonna look up my states. I'm gonna see if I can find anyone who actually lives where Babe lives. Without like putting her on blast. We got Pasadena, Berkeley, California, Pico, Irving, Merced, Gardena, Glendale, Pasadena, Inglewood, Bakersfield, Stanford, Long Beach, Anaheim, Pasadena, Malibu, Stockton. Anyone from Compton? Berkeley, Santa Clara, French Camp, San Bernardino, Oakland, San Diego, Sacramento, Malibu, Anaheim, Compton. That's what's up. That's my Compton homies. Bring them in here. Fullerton, Redwood Shores, Malibu. I've not seen Riverside, California. Close enough. Santa Barbara, Berkeley, Irving, another Riverside, Cal, Nevada, Stockton, Fresno, Bakersfield. Riverside's close enough. All right, now let's check Ohio. See if we can recruit any local Youngstown dudes. Fairview, Bridge Park, Cincinnati, Columbus, Lebanon, Oxford, Toledo, Bowling Green, Cincinnati. Canton. Um, no Boardman dudes. Youngstown, Ohio. There we go. In the college football game, like they have people from everywhere. They got people from like Boardman, Campbell, Ohio. This seems like it's a little more uh, limited. All right, how about Pennsylvania? Moon Township, Hampton, Newcastle. That's close enough. Pittsburgh. Any Beaver Falls or Chippewa dudes in here? Moon Township, Philadelphia. I 
dude's dark as hell. <laughs> Newcastle. Got to handle that. Uh, Penn Hills. Hampton, Pittsburgh, Penn Hills. All right, we're done recruiting. I just want to play. <clears throat> I just want to play. Welcome to the start of the season. Let's go. Uh, we'll save over this one. I guess I already did a YSC one. We're going to save over that. All right, play next game versus Montana State. It is November of 2009. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Youngstown State, we're gonna be wearing our home whites. Now the cool thing about this game is we can choose between ESPN and CBS. I don't know why Madden doesn't have this option. They really should. Let's do, yeah, like Caveman said, five minute quarters. I'm gonna play on junior varsity for this first game because I don't really know how to play this game. It's been a long time and I forget, so we're gonna we're gonna play on easy mode. Son of a bitch. Alright, advance. I don't remember what I selected for a presentation, so. Alright. Let's see if I can practice here. How do I dunk? Okay, I think holding down R2 and square dunks. If I just hold down square, then he does a layup. How do I shoot? Is it circle or square? It is square. All right. First game of the season. Youngstown State enters the season unranked. They say never say never. I've been there before. Well, I'm saying never. It's going to take a miracle of biblical proportions for this team to make any noise come March. They flew us here to call the opening game, so we might as well see what happens. <laughs> They're like, why are we even here? And there are the starting lineups for each team. Hey, the starting five, just like a chain. <laughs> the it's presentation this game, though, is on display. point, for sure. Let's see how this group plays together, Brad. All right, take good shots, box out, and let fast break. Points. I don't know how to play this game at all. Is there a control thing? I guess we'll figure it out as we go. ready to go, and we're ready for the tip. And after all the anticipation, we're underway. Okay, I can do plays this way. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Shoots. Get the ball. Off good the shit. Good shit. Good shit. All right, let's call a play here. So Dick's so important now. The point. Roll. The point guard will set things up, and the other four will go to work. Well, you know what they're doing is a four around. No. A post guy on the interior, and they're trying to get there. We go. Get two points. Get two points. I'm trying to bring my pass icons. I don't know what I'm doing. Our trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on oh, the Oh, so you hold down L2. I'm Brad Nestler. Nice to have you along with us. Hold down L2 for passing icons. There's a double team waiting there. Yeah, get that double team on him. Come on. Daniel. Good Handle defense. Good defense. Good defense. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Hell yeah. Good job, Perry. I mean, he just has an open lane, man. You can put a Mack truck through there. On the outside. Oh, the come on. Come on, D. Now into their offensive set. Man, I really need Gave to figure out how to like do stuff in this game. I don't know how to dribble. I don't know how to set screens. I don't know how to do anything. Let's go for a three. From the corner. Bust the jump. Nice. I wasn't a three, though. That was, that was a very long two. Anytime you get a player in a high post, you put pressure on the deep. Hold on. I got I to gotta know what I'm doing here, or else this is going to be weird. All right. Pass, shoot, standing dunk. Pick and roll is circle. You got to hold down circle for the pick and rolls. R1's alley oop. Defense. Oh, wait. Turbo, size up, play calling. R3 is back down. Why is it R3? What? That's stupid, but uh, all right, we'll figure it out. It's usually L2 to back down to the post. 
around the perimeter. I've been to this stadium four times in my life. And uh, Youngstown State was one in three in the games I, I attended. We're at the three minute mark. Moving it around the perimeter. Four three. Let's it fly. Oh, he broke it. Nice rebound, nice rebound. Let's go. Good shit, good shit, good shit. We got six points in the paint. I'm gonna try to back down on my next possession. Number 24 oh, foul. picks up the foul. First team foul. Well, I don't think such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nestler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. Here's another solid junior. Can you all hear the game well or no? Juniors as third-year players who have been there. Nothing should be new to them by the time they're in the third season. They should know what's expected from them in the classroom, and they should know what to expect from the conference opponent. Oh, the level about. of familiarity should be much higher than what it was in their first year. Can you pass the ball? Poor judgment results in a backcourt uh, violation. You got to take care of the rock, baby. Uh, that's my coach. Why did my dude not move past the line, bro? Like, why was he standing back there? That's spacing. Goes up with it. Can't connect. On the dribble, gives it up. All right, I gotta figure out how this post up. Double team now, bad angle. Count that as a first. Game is good. Actually, hear it more than you. The Penguins are moving down the down ball well. They're getting down. contributions from a number of players on both ends of the court. Dick, they've been awesome, Brad. Every player who has stepped onto the court has been focused. Did they ever have anyone make it to the NBA? Good question. Good question. So I know there's a few YSU guys in the NFL. Well, let me look it up. Youngstown. No, off the top of my head. I can't think of anyone off the top of my head who's actually made it to the NBA. Youngstown State players to make NBA. I'm sure there has been. To date, Mogus is the only player from Youngstown State University to play in the NBA. Back in 19... Hold on. What? Lee, or Leo Mogus, he played in, um, like in the, in the 30s and 40s. So yeah, no. <laughs> we have to go all the way back to the 40s to find anyone from Youngstown who's actually made the uh, NBA. That's sad as fuck, bro. <clears throat> it's funny because YSU used to be known as a, uh, a basketball school. Boy, That's terrible tough. execution oh, on offense. We're at the two minute mark on the left side. But now Youngstown's more known as a football school because their basketball program has been like trash ever since I've lived in Ohio, which is going on 15 years. Good job defensively. They just won't give them any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Body uh, up, yep. The yeah, like I can think of a few uh, young South players who made the NFL, like uh, Derek Rivers, I think his name is. Yeah, his name is Leo Mogus. He is going to the line. Rims off. Who did he play for? He played for Cleveland, Toronto, Baltimore. Is that NBA? Fort Wayne used to have a basketball team. Gets a second. Yeah, he hasn't played for any team that actually exists now in the NBA. That's weird. Coach giving some direction as his team gets into the offense. Up and inside. Jump hook. I don't like how L3 is fucking back there. All right, I'm starting to like Here they go in transition. Now. Nice defense, Kelly. Right Just let him run right through, bro. I'm sure that was my fault, though. One minute left to go. Boom. Nice job, white boy. Gave it up. 
Is it hold down L1 or the plays like show up very late? For three. Let's go. Shot clock is dead. Yeah, Derek Rivers. I think that's that's the guy, right? He used to play for Youngstown State. And then uh, there's like Kevin Rader, the tight ends. Back in the day, it was Brandon Ross. He played for the Packers for like three years. He was on the pass for a good win, for a good win, too. And you know what really impressed me, Brad? They did it with textbook box out for the sealed off. All right, we're up 16 to 9 at the half. Not this team. We're pretty much dominating them in every category. 78 field goal percentage. No offensive rebounds, though. All right, let's go, please. Going with a man-to-man -man full court press now, Dick. Now I got to figure this out. Is it hold L1 for play calling? Okay, it's hold L1. now looking to run their stuff against this zone. Well, the key to zone motion offense is you got to get good ball movement. If you get good ball Pussy. movement, you get the zone to really slide and use the skip pass. I'm trying to, to back down, but that zone to it's going to be really hard to do back down Top with fucking L3. The L3. They look to get it to the inside. Turn around jumper. Oh, that was terrible. These controls are very, very foreign, though. Now I'm used to 2K controls. To be honest, I never really liked EA's basketball, uh, the way their controls are. Now with 10 to shoot. Come on now. Inside, in the lane. The Very late. Shot. Good rebound. Good rebound. Kelly receives the ball. Come on, white boy. Come on, machine gun Kelly. What you got, bro? You got nothing. I can't get inside. Oh, hold Kicks on. It out. Let me try. Let me try to do something. Go on. Go on. Go on. Thirty-three. Throws it up. Oh, I was trying to go for the alley oop. Didn't work. From three-point range, missed the jumper. Number Look for the skip pass. The I don't know how to do skip passes. Good oh, that's it. Say, good deep, I just gave that up. Come on. I don't want to keep going to the options and looking at my controls, but I don't. I forget what I'm doing here. Circles picking a lot. I kept thinking it was uh, R1. R1's all the oop. Um, all right, bet. Let's see if I can remember this. Let's see if I can remember these controls. What do you got, Jared Martin? With the pair. First one is good. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. I actually edited every single person on this roster, man. So all these people you see, I created myself, pretty much. I think I did a very decent job. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Get into that. Get, get. Boom. Damn. And three people. That's need a replay of that. You on a oh, they're not going to show me a replay. Three minutes left in the game clock. Yo, poop in your soup. What's up, my dude? Going here. here comes the ball screen. You got them banned from what? Now the high screen. Did I ban you or some shit? Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little Daniel lag there. Receives the pass. He shoots the jumper. He takes another bad shot. Bad shots killed chemistry, Brad. Cross court. 
jump hook from the low block. Nice. Good job. All right, I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. I'm figuring it out. Maybe next game I'll play on varsity instead of junior varsity. What'd you get banned from YouTube for? No one YouTube is probably something very shot. small. Minuscule. Tries for two. About two minutes. Good rebound. Good rebound. Let's go. Well, they're not working the ball around. They're not fighting. Oh, dunking on the ass. Let's go. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown right. somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. You got this game in the bag, Louise. The fighting Bobcats might be in a little bit of trouble here, Dick. I think it's time to ditch any default strategy in hopes of getting some quick baskets. And it's like, what's my scores. man up on defense? Since Simon's but... score is not in their favor, they're going to have to change their style. That's they tough. need points, and they need them fast. I anticipate... I think I just automatically clamp down on them. Or you only stepped out of bounds. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. Dominating points in the paint. Let's go. 14 points in the paint. 14. That means all my points have pretty much come from the paint, except for 10 of them. One minute left on the game. Yeah, that makes sense. I did have that one long two. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. The man is off the charts, Brad. Nails the J. All right, let's run the score up on him. We got 55 seconds left. We're just going to shoot. Nine. Nine 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 fouls points is surmountable. This is the time to start jacking threes. Out of all the highlight plays, they show that one. Like, I've had some monstrous dunks on these fools. They're going to show the fucking layup. And the clock stopped with a foul. All right, at any point, y'all going to let me go to the free throw line. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Am I dumb or should I not be shooting free throws right now? He goes for the trifecta. I was, I was shooting three in the face. We got a break in the action, folks. Stay tuned for more ESPN coverage of the NCAA. Presentation is a titty though, man. See, if EA can get, like, ESPN and CBS presentation in this game, like, they could do that shit in Madden, too, but they just, they just don't want to. Out on the wing. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jump. If, if I'm not wrong, I think EA does have the ESPN license, but they don't use it. I think they last used it in NBA Live. Unloads a three. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's a guy you want to shoot in the three-point line. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shots. Y'all quit fouling me? And they continue what the to hell kind of name is that? I auto-generated these names, and they came up with Z, 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 Z. Z. the hell? That's fucking weird, bro. Glad to be able to watch the streams again. I'm glad to have you here, my dude. Here's a three ball. Nails the jumper. I don't know why they're just fouling me repeatedly and I can't fucking... They're not letting me go to the free throw line. I, mean, I know why they're fouling me. At this point, I don't understand it because I'm down like tremendous bit. Hey, look at him. This dude's fucking small as hell, bro. You small and you're fucking white as milk. Fuck out of here. Oh, you just got school, bro. Oh, it sounds like a play right there. Shoot, shoot, play it. Number 12 gets the ball. Y'all saw that, though. I just fucking schooled that boy. The big shot. He can't get the ball. All right, good first win, Youngstown. Let's go. Youngstown State comes away Look at with my a coach. huge win tonight in this That's ball. That's me. That's going to be me when I'm like fucking. Since the two teams were so evenly matched. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners, Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us. I didn't hear Aaron Andrews at all. One thing that I don't like though is the fact that I'm playing on shorter quarters is that the scores look unrealistic. 32 to 17. I mean, in college you get like 50s and 60s and shit like that. But whatever. We'll rock with it. Alright, we are 1 and 0 on the season. A dominating victory. Alright, alright. Um. Georgetown needs to be on their best behavior to avoid sanctions. You gotta win those.
All right, play next game. <clears throat> I kind of want to take my chances and simulate these next two games so I can play Iowa. But it depends. Who are we playing? Because my, my team should be able to beat all these chump-ass schools. Like, who are we playing here? North Texas? Uh, I'd rather not. We better fucking win this game. All right, we won 77 to 74. Oh my god, we almost lost that one. That's a rip. We almost lost. All right. Um, I don't know who that is, but we're going to simulate past it. I swear, if we lose, I'm going to be mad. All right, we beat them 85 to 52. We just outright embarrassed them. All right, let's go play Iowa. I don't know what Iowa's record is or how good they are. But we're going we're gonna to do this. We're going to play on the CBS presentation next. <clears throat> Alright, let's switch it up. I want to wear my homes. Oh, see, they got different jerseys. They got an alternate. Alright, we're going to do ketchup versus mustard. The ultimate battle. Red versus yellow. And game setting is going to be CBS Sports. Let's go. Let's bump this up to six minutes and we'll put it on varsity. My starting lineups. Why do I got Kelly on the bench for her? Hold up, my best player's on the bench, why? No, we're not doing that. Kelly's starting. And uh, this guy can start small forward. Hunter, he's 80 overall on the bench. Well, this guy's 83. All right, so what I need to do is find a uh, Covington needs to start too, because he was a beast last game for me. I don't understand why my lineups were fucked up for. All right, let's put. Wait, Bohannon is starting. What am I doing? Covington, yeah, Covington. Covington needs to start at the small forward position. Bohannon can start in the center spot and power forward will be done. All right, we're good. All right, let's kick the asses. Packers might make the Super Bowl. Hell yeah, they might, man. I hope they do. It's a good year for them to do it. We got all of our guys back from injury. They're playing very well. It'll be interesting to see who actually uh, who who we uh, play in the divisional round. I think it's going to be either Philly, well, probably not Philly, because in order for us to play Philadelphia, that means that they're going to have to beat uh, Tampa Bay. So we're probably going to play Arizona or the Rams. There's another possible opponent. I forget who it is, but we're either going to play Philly, L.A. Or Arizona. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. Today's game is between the Youngstown State Penguins and the Iowa Hawkeyes. And our starting lineup. Really good shooters are hard to find. But I think we've got two good ones here tonight. Their teams expect them to really contribute to the perimeter. Keep a close eye on this is like one of my prize positions this game. Just because it's so rare. NCAA on CBS. Alright, let's see if I can win a tip on Hey, we did it. It's cool. Why did it lag? Why is it lagging for it? That's a good question. Pass it into Dunn. Passing it down. Thank you. Receives the ball. Shots up. Ooh, Off the mark. Right. Cleans the glass. Oh yeah, I am playing on a higher well, difficulty. I need to take smart offense, shots here. With flex. What makes it so tough? They've got double team his ass. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Double area. team. On the left side. We're just gonna double everybody. Now I know what the double team button is. 
Thanks for joining CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball. I'm Gus Johnson. Come on, you gotta box out. This guy is a real talent, a great passer and scorer. So we got Gus you know, Johnson on the, the on the call. And create his own opportunities. Really, a tough guard, Gus. On the outside. Heat check time from long range. Nice. How about that? Got the three. Oh, double the team this side. dude. Double team the white boy. Oh my god, I just realized their whole entire starting five is all white people. The shot clock down to ten. You know what they the say, way. white men can't Shots jump. Up. Oh god, Squared just up on the catch. Head. Got his puppies in order. Should make another NCAA basketball game? They should. I think they will too, now that the uh, lawsuit's over. Cause they're working on a college football game. College basketball would be sick, bro. Can I get in the paint, please? Thank you. Foul on the play. Luca Garza. That name sounds familiar. I think there's a there's a guy in the NBA. I think his name is Luke Garza. Seniors are important, Gus, because they bring so much to the table in terms of Nas Bohannon. Accountability. Majors economics. As a coach, oh my god, how like do I do this? Like that on the roster, who okay, you I, see, I, see, I see, I see, Okay, good, go away. I, I, know how to, I know what to do now. Go away. Thank you. Oh. No, not this time. This is a very, uh, this is a very good three free throw uh, mechanism they have here. Makes it really hard. There we go. He hits it. All right, one for two on free throws. I'm still trying to bring up my defensive playbook, but they're not letting me. And he can't get them out. Wild shot. It down. Okay, here we go. Dunn handles the feed. He shoots from the corner. Yes. That was a nice play round. I'm pretty much they automatic from free. Through the high post, Gus. A great from way free, to attack any say. type of defense is through the high post. That's how I can cheese the uh, CPU, I guess, just by shooting threes. Out on the left wing. But it's kind of hard to actually get in the paint. It'd be easier if I knew how to fucking pick plays. I need to do more pick and rolls. Alright, we're gonna do a pick and roll when I come down here next trip. The fortitude to pursue the rim. White boy just slammed it on my face. Three minutes left on the game clock. Sub to gaming cube. What I do? Is that an illegal screen? What the fuck? They didn't even tell me what I did wrong. It must have been an illegal screen. Just try to do a pick and roll. What the fuck? On the wing. I'm crazy, but I'm pretty sure that guy shot. stepped out of bounds. Pretty out sure he did. On the left side. Come on, Bohannon. Come on, oh, you got the ball. That's taking it strong to the rim, isn't it? That's a great take, strong to the tin. That puts incredible pressure on the D when you go to the hoop like that. This is a little more highly contested than the last game was. He strokes it. He strokes it. Snatches it down. Let's win these last two minutes. All right, gaming cube. We do our best. On the left side, he looks for three, but he misses his target. We needed that three. Come on, man. It's a call for the foul. Obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really gotta know your limitations, Gus. Come on, he barely touched your first him on that year playing college basketball has to be exciting. He is beginning his career as a student athlete, and that is a big deal. These auto-generated names are really weird, though. 
No good. The rebound. But a coach will be happy with that. Dunn handles the pass. Heat check time from long range. Nice. Oh! Let's go. He fires away. <clears throat> Can't get it to go. Out on the right wing. <laughs> he left my D wide open for a three and I didn't take it. He shoots from the corner. Bang! Nice. Got it from three. He 12 and 3 run in the, the last box. five minutes and of the game. This was a this was a close game. But I put a stop to that with all my threes. He shoots from outside. And no! Give it here. Out on the left wing. He shoots from the top of the key. Nice. The junior. <clears throat> Six of eight field goals. They're three for nine. Come back all the time. We're whooping your ass. And they burn a timeout. We'll have more NCAA basketball coverage in a moment. Boom. Just draining threes on. All right. Defensive pressure. I don't care about any of that. Substitutions, we can bring some other guys in. Let's bring in Mays. Uh, let's bring in a Coro. They already did some automatic substitutions for me. That's kind of nice. I thought they weren't doing that. Bring him in. Uh, but. And we're back. Ready to get things going and again back. after the timeout. Mays, you know what you're doing, bro? You're supposed to fucking block the guard somebody. On the way. Get your ass back on the bench, bro. He shoots from the corner. Can't connect from the three, three point off. Alley -oop. No, that was not an alley -oop. At the horn. Inside. I do. Shot that layup from the fucking free throw line. The first half is in the books. The road to the final four is up next. Another dominating first half by Gunstown State. And here is our game summer. We see a lot of action. It's an impressive play here today. A look at these numbers and give you an idea of who has been doing what. I need to play this here. How both teams are doing with the keys they identify at the outset. Maybe I'll redo this and make it into like a video series. My fucking coach that looks like a fucking pervert. Well, Gus, how about a little bit of it? The hell do you say? On the right side. So if you're not watching the movie tonight, babe, uh, what do you want to play? Fire. Shots off. They should look to push it now. A little woo-woo, Gus. It's knocked out oh. of there. Blocked. That was a nice play, bro. On the outside. He takes the three. He can't no shoot No luck from downtown. <laughs> On the right side. Oh, my God. Y'all looking wide open. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come on, man. What kind of shitty defense was that? Jump shot. And it's when he gets the ball, it usually ends up in the basket. This kid is a big time scorer. <clears throat> he's definitely a pure scorer. When he gets going in his hot, he can easily go for 30. On the left side. Watch 
Y'all gonna just dribble the ball? You wouldn't even do it, white set. boy. Come on, man. They work it around the perimeter. Lots of room. With no All that for three. fucking nothing. Trash. Top of the key. Boom! Slam it on my asses. I mean for uh that's for later tonight, man. Later tonight. That's later tonight. After we watch oh, our now looking to attack. Call for the foul. Oh, Up, count it and the foul. Count it, let's go. Aggressive on deep. No, 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 he winds up with the foul. You always get your hand reaching in and get in trouble. Didn't the foul occur before the shot, though? I don't know if I should be credited for that, but whatever. And we'll go to the free throw line. Count. I was thinking, um, maybe Among Us or Rocket League. I don't know if you want to play Realm again. He shoots from the corner. The senior. Unless you're down to play Realm again, then yeah. Cause I don't know how long I'll be playing this for. This seems more like a game to just play off stream or make videos Looking for it instead of live stream. We're at the three minute mark. On the left side. Shot clock down to ten. Hey, shoot it, bro. On the right side. Total control. Those where to be. Location. <laughs> high rent district. Leaning swords, realm, rocket league, fall guys are among us. Yeah, I forgot to mention fall guys too. Dump it inside. He attempts the trifecta and misses. Big time <clears throat> presentation at the rim. He made himself bigger by extending his arms. Question is though, should I stream that? Whatever games we play, or he should I just chill corner. and not stream? Comes up empty from deep. Tipped in. What a great tip. <clears throat> Got that second effort. Two minutes oh. left on the game clock. Honestly, I need to, I need to boost up this difficulty level because this is, is way too easy and it's kind of getting boring. This is what you call a tough place to play. The crowd is yeah, completely behind either. their team. Not this time. Too bad we can't play football together. In the lane. If you wanted to, we could download Madden from my account and then we could play it. <laughs> I'd be down for that. The EA servers are always garbage, though. Like he always, people always get kicked. Whenever I play my brother, he always gets kicked. Call for the foul. But I'll be down to do that for sure. Now that's taking it strong to the hoop. Big time elevation. With the freebie. Back that's in the count. It actually sounds really cool, babe. We should do that sometime. We should play Madden together. Both free throws go. That would just require you to activate my account and download it. He unloads the three, but he misses his target. Under one minute remaining on the game clock. Top of the key. Foul. 
I mean, in your honest opinion, is this fun to watch? Me playing in NCAA basketball? When everyone on the floor can convert from the line, it makes this team very tough, especially down the stretch when the opposition is trying to foul. Rims off. My boy cannot hit free throws. Pushes it, fires, and another miss. They can't get anything to fall. You know, they got to find a way to get some good looks and get something going to the 10. Got it in the low block. Off the mark. I keep forgetting oh, what the all of you button is, guys. dude. I'm double tapping triangle the last right 2K. Side. Gets it to go. I want to get all of you in this game, goddammit. Someone break for the hoop. Lobs it. Oh, I kind of did it. Not really, though. Shot oh, that's terrible. What a rebound. On the right side. Shots up. And no. You win again. Go and Penguins. Here we have our players of the game, Bill. Two great players, Gus. Who came in with a mindset that they were going to make a difference tonight. Who's a player of the game? Really helps for rebounds and two assists. For the governor, Bill Raftery. I'm Gus Johnson saying good night. That's why you brought it, Madden. Honestly, watching you play makes me want to play it, so yeah, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy playing this. I just don't know if it's like a, I don't know if it's a game I should stream. <clears throat> I should definitely make videos on this one, for sure. All right, all right, all right. So I guess we are now, what, 5-0 and on the season after that one? We are 5-0. and oh. Go Gwens. Yep, 4-0. Four, four oh. Okay, 4-0. Oh. I got ahead of myself. <laughs> I haven't checked any... Oh my god, I'm supposed to be checking like my recruiting and everything else and I have not even... Yeah, rip. Let's see. How does this all work? Dynasty menu, recruiting. <clears throat> Do I have any? Uh, sign a two star recruit, sign a two star center. Okay, so I got to sign a two star center and a two star recruit, which means I could just do a two star center and get both of my things out of the way in one. Okay. Bet. Like um, Rothman over here. He's kind of interested in coming here. All right. So. Let's go for. Oh yeah, I was in the right place. Never mind. All right, let's go center. Um, play archetype. Let's get rid of this. High interest level, and we'll do a two star. <clears throat> two star center, Rothman. So he's already on my board. How about Goodman? He's already here. Oh, duh, this is how we do that. Okay, so we can. Watch a game, internet research on them. And homeboy up here. How many, how many points do I have though? Email recruit, send package. Um, we're gonna email them, send them a letter of interest. Same with this dude. We'll send him a letter of interest and we'll email him. And we'll send him a package, I guess. I'll send him my package. Why not? Alright, bet.
All right, now uh, let's do. I guess I have to just wait now. You want LV? I I feel like I'd probably lose this game, so I might play it. All right, I'm gonna play one more game, which is this one here, and then I'm gonna simulate and see if I can uh, if anything happens with my recruits. This game is so out of date that we don't even have our uh, black jerseys in here. We'll do five minute quarters again. Um, play on varsity. Yeah. Tip off. And then after this, I'll simulate and see if anything changes with my recruits. Yeah, I'm down to I'm down to uh, play whatever you want to play, bit. Fall guys, I'll do a Fall guys stream. I'll do Among Us, Rocket League. The Penguins are undefeated coming into this one, Dick. But as any coach will tell you, just because you haven't lost doesn't mean you can't. These guys have to walk with a swagger, but can't be too confident going into tonight's game. And of course, here's our starting lineup. I'm going to keep an eye That's on those shooting good. guards. Liz. Two good athletes who provide their teams with some offense and skill at the position. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we go. Oh. So here we go. I don't know how good this team is, though. I didn't look at the record. <clears throat> I assume we're going to kick their ass. Oh, shit. I spoke too soon. I assume we're going to kick their ass. So. Motion offense working with four around one here. Oh, well, four one motion is a good it's not a good start. We gave up the first buckets and we missed the bucket on our first back drive. Toward the basket. And another big Possession. who can play on the perimeter. A lot of teams will play this offense. Thomas picks up the foul. Shouldn't stream well, fall, guys, but <clears throat> any other games you should since we stream it. Or not fall, guys, because uh, no I hate that game. We're is that why? You to make shots. First one, good. Bro, these guys are going to take it to me. Foul shot is not good. Come on, YSC. We need to work on our offense here. Some motion. Gave it up. He shoots from the deep corner. Nice. They get it to go. Looking for the pick. All right, well, out of these, hey, how about um, out of Rocket League, Romariel, and, and Among man. Us? What would you rather play? On the outside. And I'll stream whatever game you pick, and we'll play it together. He pulls up with a jumper. Nope. He takes the board. The Penguins have improved quite a bit over the last few weeks. Oh hey, Brad, that's them for quality practices and a level of commitment from the team. Based on my experiences, teams that have improved have done those two things. Oh, we got the ball back. Oh, saves it. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. Can y'all box out, please? It's good. They're playing the hard too. They're playing full court defense on my ass, bro. We're at the three minute mark. They're playing very aggressive. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He launches a three. Oh God, come on, Covington. You can shoot threes. Handles the pass. All right, I gotta stop going for so many threes. I gotta start working in the paint more. Down inside. 
He goes up with it. Can't connect. Strong rebound. Getting that quick outlet pass is so important for the fast break. Boom. There was no doubt about that one. Let's go. Really just read my mind. I was just asking myself that question. Yeah, because I'm down for whatever. What am I doing among us? Uh, Rocket League realm. Even Fortnite. Don't mind doing Fortnite. Coach over there on the sidelines making the call. Or even uh, could do Friday 13th as well. But I don't know if we have anyone to play with. We'll just be playing with randoms. He shoots from outside. Scores it. Randoms who like to run you over in the car. In the lane. Jumper didn't look pretty, I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Claw broke his ankles. Goes up for two. He it didn't matter. What's up, Luck? No Fortnite. Looking for a good shot. Looking for a screen on top and got it. On the dribble, gives it up. Now the turnaround jumper. Good D. Alright, was good D, but That's not good like boxing. Those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. One minute left to go. Yeah, I was gonna say Friday 13 does sound fun, but probably not tonight, no. Number 33, pump fakes. Oh! Windmill dunk. Let's go. Good shit, bro. Good shit. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Up and inside. Two, about 10 seconds left in the he makes clock. that, I was going to say. Shot clock but it don't matter, there's second chance opportunities. They're just this getting on stop. Really score in a variety of ways down on the low block kick. Hey, Brad, he's got a really good all-around game. Can step out to about 15 feet and knock it down and score with his back toward the basket. Coming to handles the pass. Nice. nice. The J. It's been a tough first half, man. It's actually been fun because it's been a little more difficult. At the end of the first half, the running Rebels are trailing by two. Youngstown State went wild from behind the arc in the first half, did it? You're right, Brad. They sure did, especially when there's hardly any defense to challenge them. Realm, Rocket, or Among Us. Could, uh, could just do all three if you wanted. Looks like they're going to go with a full court man to man press, Dick. And we got a whistle and a foul. Well, if there is such a thing as a good foul, that was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He fouled them to prevent the easy basket. They have one of the toughest things to get in sports experience. Experience is so important, Brad. See situations and knowing how to react. That was a perfect free throw. And quickly perfect. is a great, great thing. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Looking for a good shot. Oh. And the slam. That's a momentum buster. He's here to fight, baby. Number 34 with I'll the take foul. The foul. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, that's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. He steps up to the line. Gets his first. Nice. Can. Let's go back on that campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. 
I think they're going to come with some pressure here, Dick. Both teams are looking to get something going here. 17 to 13. This is like a football score here. He shoots from the corner. The missed shot. Number 33 takes the pass. And a momentary look from three point land. Lobs it. What the fuck was that? And we'll get a change of possession. That was a failed Ollie. You. I thought my guy was cutting toward the basket, but he wasn't. Working it around the perimeter. Goes up. Bust the jump. Terrible defense. The running Rebels got some good ball reversal there. Hey, when each player on offense touches the ball on the perimeter, it forces the defense to move. Eventually, the defense will break uh, down. I need to move my camera over. And that's one too many turnover. Oh, I need to move my camera over here. It looks like I'm staring, like, at the wall. Here, let's do move this over here. There we go. That'll look a little better. Now it actually looks like I'm looking at the game. Now trying to feed the low block. He shoots from the angle. Missed it. <laughs> trying to feed the low block for the bucket. That, great oh, shot. I was hoping he would have slammed up that. But That's a great down. Down. That'll drive a coach bananas. I'll be the loser here. Argley does good for me when I maybe you should try it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try it. About three minutes remaining on the game clock. So after this now game, I'll simulate a few days and uh, check two. on my recruits. Goaltending violation. I'll end this stream and then I'll boot up Rocket League. But then if we decide to get off Rocket League, then I'll just continue to stream and just change my title or whatnot. Percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby? What hops? Oh, this has been the best game I've played so far on the stream. It's been competitive. Goes up for two. Off the glass and no good. Hey, Brad, this youngster is showing how to put the clamp on a player defensively. Spectacular defensive effort. For two, no good. About two minutes remaining. Gave it up. With the J. Jumper won't go. Nice hey. shot. It's a two-point game. The fans are going to make it even tougher, Brad. You didn't expect them to quiet down, did you, Dick? Oh my God, they stole it from me. No. Here they go into Come transition. on, defense. Actually play defense for once in your goddamn life. Please. We're gonna move it around the perimeter. Jumper! Nope. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Kelly That's what I'm receives about. the ball. Come on, Covington. Shoots the runner. This one yes. might go down good shit, to the good final shit, buzzer. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution. You have a good feeling good about work. it. Well, when you have they a good feeling, normally it's here, it rings true. That shit. Buried it. I have no bench points. That makes it a two point game. Should probably play my reserves. And the bombs are starting to sweat, believe me. About a minute remaining. It's good. Bro, this game's hype as fuck right now. I'm not gonna lie. They've got him trapped. Now looking for the pick. Hey, it's important that the dribbler really turns that corner hard Boom. when he's using that ball screen. They Let's go for it. What's the worst that can happen? Ride. That's what I'm saying. We'll do the it. The lead is down to a bucket. Hey, this place is about to explode. It's dynamite, baby. He launches a three. Boom. He drains the jumper. Yeah, and what, bitches? Yeah, y'all better call timeout after that one. Time out on the floor, and with that, let's go courtside to Aaron Andrews. Aaron Andrews. 
Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the uh, next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Coach seemed pretty intense on that one, Dick. Hey, you can have all the X's and O's you want, but if you aren't ready to lay it on the line and wear your heart on your sleeve, then college basketball isn't for you. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. But the fadeaway jumper, look at that follow-through. Nice D, he let's takes go. another bad shot. That shot's killed chemistry, Brad. What do you think, man? Should I stream this game again? Let's take a second look at this three. Surprisingly, it already has 96 views on it. But. Perry handles the pass. And the clock stops with a foul. So they'll inbound on the near sideline. Foul, and that stops the clock again. They're just going to foul me repeatedly, bro. They'll throw it in from the side. I got to get a shot off. He shoots from the corner. It's a very important possession. They got a score to stay alive. <laughs> and we're ready to get things back going again after the timeout. He takes the three. Nope. Too much. That's a foul. And there are his per game averages. Hey, the numbers can be nice, but they can also be deceiving. Right, you never want to judge someone purely like by average, game. no matter how high or low they may see. You got this game in the bag, bro. Misses the second. And they continue to fight. Maybe a little earlier. Slot. Yeah, probably. Almost guaranteed. Yeah, so this game normally does get views with uh, some videos or streams because it's rare. He realizes the importance of free throw. Let's get ready to resume the action. All these fouls are uh, pissing me off. Man. These fouls and timeouts. Out of the way. We win, though. He launches the bomb and come up short. That was the best game of the stream so far. Was given all they could handle tonight. This was not the expected result. This a definite upset. So for Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long. Boom. This is definitely the funnest and closest game of the stream so far. 28-23. Youngstown State Cougars. GG's. You hate the mustache on my coach? My coach is awesome, man. I made him look as ugly as possible, though. That's kind of the point. The fans are crying after their Tar Heels lose to Michigan. Go blue, baby.
I don't know why I'm, uh, I try to click on the story, but apparently it wasn't a story, it was just simulating. Yo, what's up, Effort? How you doing, bro? Yo, can we stop the simulation, please? We are 5 and 0. Oh. Just because this is nostalgic, literally right at the beginning. It doesn't load for me. It says, uh, oops, something went wrong. Huh? That was weird. Okay, what was I gonna do again? Go to recruits. I have an email thing that I'm supposed to read. And then they'll tell me whether my recruits are like interested or not. Um, where's that at? Coaching message center. That's where I need to be. Athletic director, medical staff, recruit. I got 47 emails I haven't read yet. Scouting reports, scouting reports. This guy says schools I'm looking at. Where's the other? There he is. Coach, I've trained my list, and the school I am now considering are Eastern Kentucky, Youngstown State, and FAMU. Youngstown State is probably my leader, but I'm still thinking about throwing all my options. And that is Goodman, okay? So if I go to recruiting, what is Goodman looking like for me? An old GC vlog. <laughs> is that the Giggles Cube vlog, huh? Why does it not show up for me? What the fuck? Yeah, we were me and Babe were watching them. We were watching those the other night. We watched the first one and then we were watching the second one, but we, we stopped watching it. <clears throat> we gotta watch that again, for sure. For sure, for sure. All right, phone, high school coach, internet research, email recruit, send letter of interest, send package. Bet. We love you too, effort. Yes, sir. All right, um, we're gonna save this. Save dynasty mode. <laughs> National story Central Michigan Downs previously undefeated high point 464. Who's up? Who's down? Let's look in the top 25 pulls. Are we even in here? No, we're definitely not in here, but are we close? Yeah. Wonder where I'm ranked at. Offer standings. Alright. Butler's four and four. Damn, yeah, they fell off hard. Valparaiso's five and one. I'm the only undefeated team in my conference right now. That's good. Let's go. I don't get it. I can't watch whatever links you're all posting because it just takes me to uh, YouTube Studio and it says something went wrong. So that's a rip in the chat. I guess I was wrong. It said playbacks on this stream and it was like 98, but I have 40 some views. 106 playbacks. But 48 views, so I don't know what that means. I'm confused with life, apparently. All right, well, that's going to be it for this uh, for this game. I'm getting off here now. <clears throat> that's tough.
Why? What is it? What is it? I need to know what it is. I need to know. I need to know what it is. What is it? <clears throat> <laughs> Boom. Well, I want to test out something right here. Let's see if I can do this. Vectors quiz. Green map vectors. All right, cool. I don't know if I'll get in trouble for doing this or not, but. I am going to test my Packers fandom on stream. That's what I'm going to do. Bam, 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 bam. Keep going while you're getting off. Oh, I thought we were going to play, uh, I thought we were going to play Rocket League. Ah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, hold up. I want to do this quiz, though. I was trying to do this on Twitch the other night, but I forgot. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this or not, though. If not, I guess I'll find out. 20 questions, Packers fan. Are you a real Packers fan? That's what we're going to find out right now. Am I a real Packers fan or not? All right. Then I'll go back and play some more basketball. I just wanted to do this. This guy apparently has three videos, so. We're gonna mute that, we don't need to hear anything. You will have 12 seconds to read and answer each question. There will be a countdown from five to one. Keep track of your score in your head or with pen and paper. Well, I'm probably not gonna do that, to be honest. Questions will vary in difficulty. Let's go. All right. Question one. <clears throat> Lambeau Field is named after the team founder and first head coach. What is his first name? Curly. Curly Lambeau. That's easy. That's easy as fuck. Curly Lambeau. All right. Question number two. What team did the Packers beat to win the first Super Bowl? Kansas City Chiefs. Can you keep score for me, babe, so I know if I'm good or not? Green Bay beat Kansas City in the first Super Bowl. Yes. Now these are going to get harder because these are very those are easy ass questions. What is Bart Starr's jersey number? Fifteen. I'm three for three right now. They said it's going to get more difficult as it goes on, so we'll see. Fifteen. I was right. I have his autograph too. Rest in peace, Bart Starr. All right. What is Brett Favre's middle name? Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Brett Lorenzo Favre. Easy. All right, so I'm what? Is that? Yeah, four for four. Four, four, four. Let's go. I'm smart. What was the most common nickname given to Reggie White? Rest in peace, Reggie. You were the Minister of Defense. The Minister of Defense. Yeah, five for five. Can we have a hard question, please? What year was Aaron Rodgers drafted? Fuck. Uh, two, 2005. 2005. I think 2005. 2005. All right, good. Good, good. For some reason, I wanted to say four, but it was 2005. What is the address of Lambeau Field? It's on Lombardi Avenue. It's on Lombardi Avenue. Hold on, hold on. It's 12-something. 1260, 1265, I believe. I might get this wrong. I think it's 1265 Lombardi Avenue. Yes! Let's go! That was tough. That was tough. Whew. What bone did Charles Woodson break during Super Bowl 45? His collarbone. Collarbone. 
Left collarbone. Well, y'all didn't tell me left or right, so I, that still counts. That still counts. It was a collarbone. What team drafted Brett Favre, then traded him to Green Bay the next year? Atlanta Falcons. That was easy. That was easy. Wait, seven. I'm on question 10 here, babe. How many seasons did Don Hudson lead the league in receiving yards? Uh, I know that I've heard this before. How many seasons did Don Hudson lead the league in receiving yards? I want to say seven. Seven or eight. Because it, it is a record to this day. I'm going to say seven. That was close, dude. All right, so there's been two questions on here that have actually been kind of, uh, that I've been unsure about. Halfway done. Said nine, slow ass. Who holds the franchise record for career rushing touchdowns? Jim Taylor. Jim Taylor. Another easy one. Another easy one. That, like, every Packer fan knows that. Jim Taylor. Who is credited as the inventor of the Lambo Leap? A Leroy Butler. It, it also helps that they actually have a picture of Leroy Butler in the picture. But yeah. Leroy Butler. All right, all right, all right. Who was the MVP of Super Bowl 31? Desmond Howard. Desmond Howard. Desmond Howard. Former Michigan Wolverine, too. Go blue, baby. What position did <clears throat> Ray Nitschke play? Linebacker. Linebacker. <laughs> Baby's like, yep, yeah, I'm I know this shit. I'm a true Packer fan. I know everything. Linebacker. Can we get a hard question, please? What player did the Packers select in the first round of the 1989 draft and is considered one of the biggest busts of all time? Tony Mandrich. Tony Mandrich. Yep, the Packers could have drafted Deion Sanders. They could have drafted Barry Sanders. They could have drafted uh, Steve Young. They could have drafted the other guy. But What team did Mike Holmgren coach after he left the Packers? Seattle Seahawks. Seattle Seahawks. Again, too easy. Too easy. This would probably be hard for someone who was like born after fucking the 90s. In the 2020 season, Devontae Adams led the league in touchdowns, catching how many touchdowns? Uh, he had a ridiculous amount. It's question 17. He wears 17. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it was 17 touchdowns. I'm gonna go with 17. Fuck! 18. I was one off, dude. Fuck. 18 touchdowns. I was one off though. That, that's close. That's like a half win. My first incorrect answer. The whole string. What Packer legend was known as the Golden Boy? Paul Hornig. Easy. Very easy. So I got one wrong. And I was off by one fucking touchdown. Who is the all-time Packers points leader? Mason Crosby. Also easy. Mason Crosby. Yes. All right. I can't believe I was off by one touchdown, dude. Oh, my God. Last question. Let's make it an easy one. They've all been easy, bro. What do you mean? Who is this? Huh, who is that? Hmm. Vince Lombardi. The greatest coach of all time. Vince Lombardi. That's right. The man who is named after the Super Bowl trophy. Well, let's see how you did. I was, I was good. Um, I'm a Lombardi legend. Fucking facts, bro. Goddamn right. Oh, there's another one. 
Should I do the second quiz or go back to my video game? I'm gonna like it, cause that was cool, I like that. <clears throat> we'll, we'll do the second one, why not? I'm a Lombardi legend though, I'm smart. I know my Green Bay Packers. I know my Green Bay Packers. Let's see if this one's harder, cause I feel like that was like elementary school. Like that was way too easy, and I was only, I got every question right besides one. Before Mason Crosby, who held the franchise record for most career field goals made? Ryan Longwell, I believe. It could be Chris Jackie, but I think Ryan Longwell. Ryan Longwell. All right. One for one. <clears throat> How many times have the Packers been to the Super Bowl? One, two, three, four. Four times. Five times. Five times. Five times. Five times. Five. Five times. I was counting their wins. Five. Yep. Five times. Four and one in the Super Bowl. Where did Bart Starr play college football? Alabama. Alabama. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure of that. Yeah, Alabama. Okay, let's go. Let's go, boys. What team did Brett Favre play against just one day after his father died and had one of the best games of his career? Rest in peace, babe. The Oakland Raiders. And we fucking shit in their mouth. On Monday Night Football. No, I said five. I said five. I said five. I, I corrected myself. I corrected myself. What is the official beer of the Packers? Wow. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. Um, I don't know this. Hold up. The official beer of the Packers. Uh, what's that one Milwaukee's best? Uh, I don't know. I don't know this one at all. I'm going to fail. I think that I'm going to say Milwaukee's best because it's Milwaukee in Wisconsin. Miller Lite. Okay. You got one wrong. Miller Lite's fucking nasty too, by the way. Just before being hired to coach the Packers, Mike McCarthy was offensive corner for which team? Uh, San Francisco 49ers. He was also the quarterback's coach, though. So, yeah. Okay, I got that right. Let's go. Let's go. So, I got one wrong so far on here. How do I not know? Well, first of all, I'm not an avid beer drinker. And I never heard anyone say Miller Lite's the official beer of the Packers. I've never heard that before. I think this guy just made that up, honestly. What position did Bubba Franks play? Tight end. Tight end. And that's not that's not even a Packer question. That's a beer question. So that, that was a dumb question. I feel like that guy just made that up, honestly. I got that one right, though. What was Jordy Nelson's jersey number with the Packers? 87. <sighs> Easy. He's one of my favorite Packers of all time. Of course, I would know that one. Which Packers quarterback led the league in passing yards and touchdowns in 1983? Fuck. Uh, Lynn Dickey. I don't know if I got this right. I'm going to say Lynn Dickey, though. I think he was later on. Okay, it was Lynn Dickey. Let's go. Fuck yeah. Let's go. What team originally drafted Amon Green? Seattle Seahawks. Look it up. That'd be cheating. Well, I'll, I'll look that up, though. Yeah, the beer thing. I get what you're saying. I'll look that up, yeah. All right, Seattle drafted on Green. That was easy. Halfway done. Remember to check your rank at the end. I should do this into a video, honestly. What MC North team have the Packers defeated the most? Uh, I feel like it's Detroit. Because Detroit sucks. It's not the Bears. Or the... Yeah, it has to be Detroit. It has to be Detroit. It has to, Yeah, of course. Bears are a close second. <clears throat> Who holds the franchise record for most rushing yards in a season by a quarterback? Uh, I'm not going to get this one right. Uh, I'm not getting this one right. Fuck. Who was it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta take a stab at it, though. Uh... 
Uh, man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta take a guess though, right? Fuck. Let me pause this. Franchise record for most rushing yards in a season by a quarterback. And obviously it's this guy here. He's really old. Um, there's that one guy who has that really long last name. I, I can't pronounce it. But if, this, if the guy's name starts with a T and it's kind of a weird name, then I get it right. We're going to say that. Tobin Rotes. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's wrong. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that one. That was a good question. Before green and gold, what were the Packers team colors? Navy, blue, and yellow. Navy, blue, and yellow. Blue and gold? I said navy, blue, and yellow. That's kind of the same thing as blue and gold. That counts. That has to count, right? It has to. It does. It does count. Thank you. This one's harder than the last one for sure. What team did Greg Jennings join in 2013 after playing seven seasons in Green Bay, Minnesota? You know what? I feel like I should just stop after this, and I'm going to make this into a video. I'm going to do all, all the quizzes in one video. What team did the Packers defeat in the 67 championship, also known as the Ice Bowl? Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, because that's that jersey that they have in Fortnite. The old school uh, blue and yellows. <laughs> Lame ass colors. Shut up. What was the name of the stadium where the Packers played home games before Lambeau Field? Uh, are they counting Milwaukee? City Stadium? City Stadium. Yeah, good thing it is green and yellow now. I think it's City Stadium. Yes, let's go, let's go, baby. <clears throat> Question 17, who is the franchise leader in sacks? Ooh, this is a tough one. Um, fuck, franchise leader in sacks. It's not Reggie White. I don't think it is. Anyways, it's not Ray Ditschke. Franchise leader in sacks. This is a good question. Damn. Franchise leader in sacks. But the thing is, if I record this as a video, I'll likely remember the answers, but I don't care. I'll act like I never did it before. Franchise leader in sacks. Damn, this is a good question, bro. Yeah, welcome back, caveman. Franchise leader in sacks for the Packers. Reggie White only played like three, four years in Green Bay, so it's not him. I want to say someone more current, like maybe Kabir Baja be a Miller. It could be Reggie White, but I don't think it is because like he only played like five seasons in Green Bay. Is there someone very like from back in the day or someone current? I'm just going to say, uh, fuck. I'm going to say Aaron Campman. Aaron Campman. Watch it be Reggie White. I'm going to look like a fucking idiot. I don't think it's Aaron Campman either, but. Clay Matthews, are you serious? I thought no, really. He was a good answer, a good choice, but are you telling me? Wow, okay, Clay Matthews. All right, well, I'm stupid. I didn't think he had that record. Rip. Which receiver did Brett Favre throw the most touchdown passes to in his career? Okay, let's see. In his career, I'm gonna say Donald Driver. Donald Driver. Antonio F fuck That was my other choice <laughs> Aaron Rodgers was drafted in 05 what quarterback was selected ahead of him with the first overall pick Alex Smith I I, I don't yeah Matthews. I'm surprised. I'm surprised at that one because he only played like six seven seasons in Green Bay And driver caught hella touchdown passes from Brett Favre All right, let's make it an easy one the current coach of the Packers, what is his name? Matt LaFleur. Fuck. God damn it, dude. Can't believe I got those wrong. I was going to say Freeman. I was going to say uh, Antonio Freeman or Robert Brooks. But I said Donald Driver because I know Driver caught a shit ton of passes for him. All right. I think I got, like, most of these right. 
Were you keeping count, babe? Because I wasn't. <laughs> I th I'm pretty sure I got 13 of 16. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm a cheesehead champ. The first one I was a Lombardi legend, but this time, no. All right, now this was fun and all, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these quizzes and I'm gonna make them into a video. Should I do the third one? Yeah, let's just do the third one, fuck it. I'm gonna do this in a video, probably uh, down the road maybe. I got three wrong, damn. And the thing, I only got one wrong on that first quiz and it was I was only off by one touchdown. This guy has three of them, okay. Well, I'm gonna do all three of these into a video at some point. Three out of 20, that's not bad, that's not bad at all. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a lot of Packer fans out there who would uh, probably get a lot of these questions wrong. Like that one about the beer, what the fuck, dude? What was Jennings' number when he played for the Packers? 85. That's easy. Yep. What Division One college did Aaron Rodgers play for? Now, hold up. Are they talking Butte Community College or Cal? Is Cal Division One? Okay, well, it's going to be either Butte Community College or Cal. So, I'm going to say Butte Community College because I don't think Cal's Division One. They are. Okay, whatever. Fuck you then. All right, Cal. I was right. I was right. Suck it. Sterling Sharp was drafted by the Packers in the first round of what year? Damn, I don't know. Uh, fuck. What year? I'm going to go with my birth year. 1988. Because he did play He did play in the 80s. It's either going to be 87 or 88. I'm going to go with 88, though. I'm going to go with 1988. I don't know this one, honestly. Let's go! 88. I knew, I knew it was good to go with my birth year. I knew it was. Let's go. After replacing the injured Don Mikowski in week 3 of 92, Brett Favre led a comeback against what team? Cincinnati Bengals. With a game-winning touchdown pass to Kittrick Taylor. That's extra credit. <clears throat> that was also easy. What position did A.J. Hawk play? Middle linebacker. But they're probably just going to say linebacker, but he was a middle linebacker. Linebacker. Yeah, because he caught that game-winning touchdown in the postseason. I think it was in 91 against Detroit. Before becoming head coach of the Packers, Vince Lombardi was an assistant coach for what team? New York Giants. I know this because I watched that Vince Lombardi documentary like last month. Which is a very good, very good uh, documentary on him. All right. What Wisconsin county is Lambeau Field located in? Ooh. What county is Green Bay in? Fuck, I don't know. I don't live in Wisconsin. Um, it's not Door County. Yeah, Hawk played. He played a lot of positions in college, too. Fuck. I don't know I don't know this answer. Um it's not Door County. I feel like I, I feel like I should just say Door County, but what Wisconsin County is Lambeau Field located in? Fuck. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm taking the L on this one, boys, because I don't know. Door County. I'm saying Door County. Brown County. I did not know that at all. So that's an L. Who did the Packers lose to in Super Bowl 32? That would be the Denver Broncos and John Elway. Are you trolling? Because I know he did take a couple snaps at uh, Ohio State. He took a couple. He played uh, in Ohio State early on. He played linebacker, and he also well linebacker was primarily his thing. But he also took some snaps at QB and at tight end. But yeah, I mean, obviously he was mainly a linebacker. What receiver holds the franchise record for the longest catch? That was Robert Brooks. Robert Brooks. Easy. He caught the longest pass on Monday Night Football. Yep, 99 yards. I knew that one. 
Easy. What is one of the two most popular nicknames given to AJ Dillon? The Quadfather and uh, I, Quadzilla. Quadfather and Quadzilla. Yeah, I got both right. This is like really recent too. <clears throat> yeah, Hawk was an athlete, dude. He was an athlete for sure. Who currently holds the franchise record for most passes intercepted on defense? <clears throat> oh, wait, hold up. Who currently holds the franchise record for most passes intercepted on defense in the season? Charles Woodson with seven of them. Irv, Con damn, okay, never mind. I was so confident in that answer, and I was wrong. <laughs> Rip. Who is this? Ted Thompson. Rest in peace. Ted Thompson. Yep, yeah, he played for the Bengals too. During the twilight years or during the end of his career. Which Packers coach has had the most playoff losses? I'm going to say Mike Sherman. It's probably someone from back in the day though. I'm going to say Mike Sherman. Because we made the playoffs a lot with Sherman and we always lost. Mike McCarthy. Fuck, dude. I'm an idiot, dude. Why didn't I think of Mike McCarthy, dude? Because he, he choked all... Oh, my God. Anyways. Moving along. <laughs> what game show did Aaron Rodgers host Jeopardy? I should have known that one. It was Mike McCarthy. Fuck. Some of these are trick questions, though. I'm thinking too much about the question. That's what it is. What Packers receiver scored the first touchdown in the first Super Bowl? Max McGee, I want to say. I'm going to say Max McGee. Yep, all right. He caught that one where it was like behind him and shit, and it was like a really, really good catch. What city was Brett Favre raised in? Keele, Mississippi. Keele, Mississippi, yep. What band wrote The Bears Still Suck? I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm not even going to guess because I have no idea. Happy Schnapps Combo. I never even heard this song before. I never even heard that song before. In 2021, Rodgers threw his 443rd touchdown pass, breaking Favre's franchise record. Who caught it? Alan Lazard. And that happened like fucking like a month ago. <clears throat> this is like super, super, super recent. Question 19. In what round of the 2011 draft did the Packers select Randall Cobb? Second round pick. I'm very confident in that answer. Second round pick. Second round. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Last question, boys. And it's going to be an easy one, apparently. Let's make it an easy one. Who was the MVP of the first two Super Bowls? They said this was easy. Um, it's got to be what, Bart Starr? It's got to be Bart Starr. I'm assuming. Bart Starr or Paul Horning. But I'm going to go with Bart Starr. Bart Starr. Yep. All right. Let's go. <clears throat> All right. So. We did it. We went through all three of these quizzes. Now I'm going to like immediately make it into a video afterwards. Now, now that I know every single answer. All right. Good shit, bro. Good shit. This was uploaded. This was uploaded like two days ago. Nice. All righty. All right. All right. Let's go. That's definitely going to be. I'm going to make this into a video probably tomorrow. You think this is Cobb's last year? Uh, Probably not. I think if we win the Super Bowl, then yeah, I think he'll retire for this year. But if not, I, I think he'll return. Will he return for the Packers, though? I don't know. Honestly, we don't have enough money to, to bring him back. So, that's a good question, Kate, man. I think either way, he'll probably will retire because I think he wants to finish his career in Green Bay. I don't think we're going to re-sign him. So, yeah, probably. I'm a cheesehead champ. All right. 
So I was a Lombardi legend in the first video, and Cheesehead Champ in the last two. All right, sick. Yeah, let's go ahead and subscribe to Homeboy too. All right, all right, all right. Good shit, good shit. I'll make that into a video tomorrow or some shit. All right, all right, all right. So should I still play some more NCAA or should we go to Rocket League? I wish there was more of these, uh, more of these trivia things, but. Yeah, he has a core muscle injury, but apparently he's ready to come back for it, so. Which I'm also surprised, uh, Whitney Merciless is coming back too, because he had a pretty bad injury midway through the year. But he's practicing, Darius Smith is practicing, Jair Alexander's practicing. So like we're getting we're getting full strength. We're getting all of our strength back. Right in time too. League of Rockets. Alright, bet. Rocket League, unfortunately. Why? Why unfortunately? Do you not want to play Rocket League? We'll play something else if you don't want to. Play Rocket League. <clears throat> alright, alright, alright. Whatever happened to Malik Taylor? I think he's still on our practice squad. Oh wait, no, he got hurt too, didn't he? Yeah, he got hurt. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, that's why. Yeah, you're not lying there, you're not lying there. Fucking trash. Let me look up Malik Taylor, cause uh, that's a good question too. I think he was, he got hurt somehow, but he might be healthy now and on our practice squad again. Cause he's a very good special teams player for us. Yeah, he's placed on injured reserve on Christmas Eve. All right, yeah. So he's he's done for the year then, I assume. I don't know what happened to him though. Let's look up his news. Well, apparently he was, yeah, he has an abdomen injury. What the hell? It says abdomen here and it says shoulder. What is it? It's one, does he have abdomen and shoulder injury? I don't know. But who knows? He might make a comeback for the playoffs too. I'm not sure. Because of basketball? Wait, what? Hopefully he comes back next year. He's good. Yeah, he is pretty good. He made some good catches in the uh, preseason for us. And uh, he wasn't really given much of a chance this season, in the regular season, but he played a lot on special teams. That's pretty much what he's uh, known for. He's a good special teams guy. But he definitely could. He could definitely do more than just special teams. But all right, my dudes, I'm going to wrap up this stream, and then we're going to boot up a Rocket League stream. Um, I'm probably going to get something to eat real quick, and then I'll call Babe while I'm making something to eat, and then we'll get ready to play some Rocket League. <clears throat> Guy like that, put right into a slot receiver, boom right into a slot receiver or something. Yeah, he could be a good slot receiver. He does have good hands, and he's very quick, too. I think he's one of those sneaky guys. I'm not sure how old he is, but if we can keep him around for a few more years, I think he's one of those guys that could blossom into a good uh, a good receiver for us. Kind of like how Lazar kind of just came out of nowhere too. I'll see you on Rocket League in 15 minutes. All right, bet. Sounds good, baby. I'll call you here. But uh, I'm going to wrap up this stream, guys. It's been fun. I'll probably play some more NCAA again. I don't know if I'll stream it. I might just make videos on it. But I might stream it again. Who knows? But keep a lookout for the Packer quiz video that I'll be putting out at some point soon. But until then, I'll catch you all in the next one. Much love, take care, and peace.